we have the man, the myth, and the soon-to-be legend, King Jordan 2K. I'm in the studio. We've got Chris at home. Welcome to the show, King Jordan. Hey, I'm so happy to be here. I even got the 2K logo TV in my hair. <laughs> so That is amazing. That's a first on 2K TV, King Jordan. Yes, I believe so, yes. So, you know, we, we got to be different. So we built different. <laughs> now, I heard a rumor that you are the new owner of a 2K logo. How does that make you feel for the second? A view of beautiful Lake Michigan, stunning downtown Milwaukee, and the site of our broadcast today. It's a beautiful Sunday afternoon. Welcome to the NBA on 2K Sports. Alongside Grant Hill and Brent Berry, I'm Brian Anderson. Also with us tonight, our reporter, Allie LaForce. Hey, Allie. Hey, Brian, you could say the alley-oop is perhaps the game's most exciting play. Ricky Rubio said that 80% of the credit should go to the finisher. LeBron James said, quote, the worst passes often lead to the best finishes. And Lonzo Ball said, when you have someone you trust to catch it, you can pretty much throw it wherever. Oh, yeah, he's had some good ones, Allie. Thanks. And Grant, you look at these rosters, a lot of talent in the backcourt. Oh, a sign of the times, B.A. Agility and skill is in demand, and that is on display tonight. So here's Dallas' starting group. Luca and Hardaway, they make up the backcourt. Finney Smith at small forward with Porzingis at the four. And it's Marjanovic in at the five. And for the Bucks, Middleton is the three with Giannis in at four. Holiday and DiVincenzo man the backcourt. And it's Lopez in at the five spot. So Dallas will get the first possession. Holiday against Doncic. Soft touch off the glass. When you watch Luka play, you can't forget he's 6'7". He can more than hold his own inside. Here's Anadokounmpo. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. Yeah, and all the Greek gods can't be perfect, right, B.A.? I mean, Giannis, one of the few weaknesses in his game is getting to the free-throw line and knocking those down consistently. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. At the line for the box, Giannis Antetokounmpo. One shot. That one misses for Antetokounmpo. You know, with Giannis and his free throws, Brent, it hurts his team in late game situations. Well, it does. It's something that he knows, he recognizes it, and he continues to work on it. And I think that that's the, the first part for Giannis in, in getting better, recognizing the problem. For three, Hardaway. Second shot opportunity. Outside, Finney Smith. Here's Porzingis. And it's going to be a three-second call. Three seconds. And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. I mean, letting them know up front that he's on the hunt tonight and eager to knock away shots. I love it. Kumpo outside. Finney Smith pulls it in. The Mavericks have gone one of four to start. With the drive. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. They'll pin that on Chris Middleton. Shooting for Dallas. Dorian Finney Smith. At the line for two. One falls for him. That 
one falls, so he hits both of them. Here's Anadokounmpo. Really played well against the Clippers in his last game. Middleton outside. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt. And he's going for the oop here. So many different offenses that Tim Hardaway Jr. has played in, but he's trying to improve in his on-court awareness. A good show of it there. Holiday passes to Lopez. Down low. Here's Ana de Kumpo. Doesn't go that time. Good D by Porzingis. The Mavericks have gone two for five to start today's game. Back to Marjanovic. Porzingis passes to Hardaway. Oh, there's a killer two-hand slam. Now Hardaway Jr. up over top right there, rising up. First quarter, just about two minutes in. Outside Holiday. And Holiday powers it home. Now that's how you capitalize on a screen. Yeah, good positioning, too. Gave him a clear path to the hoop. Really not enough help there. Lack of communication on the backside. To the paint. Here's Porzingis over Holiday. Kicks it out to Hardaway. Pass to Marjanovic. Shot clock at six. Another shot. He can't get that one to fall. Milwaukee goes the other way with it. Last time they met was in Dallas where they beat the Mavericks. <laughs> and you know they should be thankful for the results. Oh, oh wow! Down. Oh, Filthy. I mean, just the arena is stunned. He's got a deep bag of tricks to dig into. Here's Marjanovic. Left side, Porzingis. Holiday grabs the miss. The Bucks trail. Pass to Lopez. And here is Hanna de Kumpo. Defended by Hardaway. And Giannis Hanna de Kumpo picks up that foul. That's his first foul. I love great defense. Just quick to establish his feet, and he takes the hit. The Mavericks have gone three of nine, struggling so far. Here's Marjanovic. Pass to Hardaway. He's looking good. Two buckets and three attempts. That's a hard-nosed play from Hardaway. Absorbing contact and not taking no for an answer. Middleton from the outside drops in the three. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. And here's Porzingis. Pass to Marjanovic. Doncic outside. He buries it from three. Doncic has got five points. And look at Luka now getting aggressive at the arc. He was eager to answer that last three. Outside Holiday. Now here's Ana de Kumpo. It's hauled in by Marjanovic. We'll have a hard time shaking that one off. Perfect position, plenty of space. Just clanked it. With good execution. They're getting some short-range looks here. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Mavericks. Hey, guys, they're passing the ball very efficiently here in the first half. I also like on the offensive end how they're working to get the ball into the paint, into the teeth of the defense. They've created a lot of high percentage shots so far. Portis, he's checked in for the Bucks. Allen comes in for Chris Middleton. And the free throw, no good. And we know the long season is a grind for players, Grant. What about the coaches? You know what? A long season is a grind for everyone. Not just for the coaches, but for the training staffs, for the basketball operations department. Everyone involved understands that it's a grind both physically and mentally. Here's Doncic. Great start so far. Three of three in this one. He just takes advantage of the D in a way that very few players playing today can do. To stop the run. 
It's rebounded by Dallas. They defeated Washington in their last game. And guys, those road games are never easy. But they had a solid strategy going in and stuck to what they do best. Yeah, watching that game quarter to quarter, they sped up, they slowed down, but they executed in every facet. And now almost all their points coming from the paint. Allen, the pass to Holiday. Knocked away. And it's stolen by Finney Smith. Pass to Marjanovic. Lopez with the steal. Oh, there's the alley. Throw it down on the lob. The pass, the catch, the slam. What a clean play. Man, absolutely jaw-dropping. And Dallas calls time here. with some changes. Cousins comes in for Lopez. And it's Connaughton in for DiVincenzo. Powell passes to Kleba. Back to Powell. Pass to Burke. Five on the clock. With the 10-footer, count that bucket. So far, they're owning both ends of the floor. We'll see if they can keep this going. Like tonight, that all the hustle plays have meant so much to this team. Now just sustain some of that energy and keep comfortable. Holiday against Doncic. The shot by Holiday, no good. Well, mid-range is where he makes the money. So when the D's slow to get out on him, Always surprising to see him miss from there. And he was oh, fouled wow. while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Entering the league at just 19 years old, Luka Doncic has loads of experience overseas. Won an MVP in Spain, which is widely considered the second best league in the world. Shooting two. That's good from Doncic. Doncic hits them both. And the top pick in this year's draft, Cade Cunningham. Grant, I heard some insiders compare you to him. You like those comparisons? Well, he's 6'8 with skill, sees the floor, I think coaches the game the right way. Maybe not the leaper I was, but tremendously talented, and I'm so eager to see how he develops. He's got a bright future in front of him. Here's Burke. There's the drive, and the layup is good off the glass. And the Mavericks lead by 12. Just so successful getting the ball inside and finding those great looks. Cousins, the pass to Holiday. Pass to Portis. Now Holiday fires the three. It's rebounded by Kleba. Let's a floater go. And he lays it in. Burke's got six points. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Doncic against Allen. The Mavericks pull it in. Powell passes to Doncic. Kleba finds Doncic. Again, the Mavericks good for two more. And this defense needs to turn the screws and ramp up the intensity. They're looking a little loose out there right now. Timeout called the Bucks. They're giving up a lot of points in the paint. That's something they have to address here. Yeah, coach knows that. They know that. In the timeout, they're going to hear about it, make the adjustment. Anna Nakumpo is checked in for the Bucks. 
Chris. He's checked in for the Mavericks. Now here's Holiday. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against the Clippers. Yeah, but all around offensively, the performance was great. He knew when he had it going, but he also knew he could get other guys going. So his passing right up there on the level with his scoring in that one. Doncic, no good. Milwaukee has gone one for two from beyond the arc in this first quarter. Cousins, the pass to Holiday. Shoots from 14. That went off the back iron and out. Dallas shooting a phenomenal 60% on the first. Think about Drew Holiday and his ability, B.A., to step between the one and two position as a high-level pro and defender. Pass to Chris. Over Holiday. And the basket by Chris. Chris. And the Mavericks lead by 16. Defensively, they've got to get more bodies in the paint. That's three straight field goals from below the free throw line. Here's Holiday. Six points for him. Plenty of room to knock down that one. Holiday's got eight points. Brent with Holiday, he spent plenty of time at both guard spots. And very few guards, B.A., can do that seamlessly, and, and Holiday does it. He can play the one and two to score and facilitate, but he's going to take on the toughest defensive assignment and shut that guy down as well. No question who's in control of the board so far. Here's Anna Kumpo. It's hauled in by Luka Doncic. Uh, nobody getting a hand in his face in that painted area. That's a miss he's going to be disappointed with. Pass to Chris. And we've got 118 left in the first. Missed inside. Hook loose. Oh, it's stolen by Doncic. Here's Powell. And Powell with the stuff. They've controlled the paint so far. That's been the difference. Yeah, the bully ball tonight has paid dividends. Highly effective down there with the physical play. Here's Holiday. It's hauled in by Luka Doncic. Doncic has got his fourth rebound in this one. Powell passes to Doncic. Here's Chris. Doncic outside. Off target from outside. The Bucks shooting right around 42% on the first. Here's Cousins. And he buries his first look. How about Drew Holiday? Unselfish. Team first player. Love that from the guard position. Pass to Chris. The shot is good. Doncic making the play. Boy, I like their energy coming in. <laughs> Terrific execution so far. Well, if there were four or five boxes to check in terms of the game plan tonight, they might have checked six. I mean, they're doing everything out there. Cousins gets the bucket. Well, there's a lot of moves that Cousins can go with on the inside. If he doesn't back you down, he's got a fadeaway and a step back. It's tough to guard on the interior. And he was dominant in their last outing. And the same thing here tonight. He is in a terrific groove right now. Seems to be nobody standing in his way. No roadblocks for him to get to his spot, capitalize, and continue to be aggressive. The first quarter concludes, and a double-digit lead on the scoreboard. Mavericks ahead, up by 16. And we'll get things started in the second quarter when we return. And some down shooting nights will happen. But Giannis says the Bucks will continue to play the right way. Yeah, keep shooting, man. keep making plays, keep finding the open man. And uh, obviously, the ball going to go in eventually. Uh, you know, it's a season, and uh, there's going to be games that you're not going to play your best. Uh, you're not going to knock down shots. But at the end of the day, we find ways to win. And uh, got to keep shooting the ball. Got to keep shooting the ball. They can always lean on their defense. And we know the Bucks are strong enough at that end. I mean, they can scrap out wins even when they struggle to score. 
And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but plenty of time left for a comeback. Yes! And quite a position here for the Mavericks to be in. What do you think, guys? Well, you have to look at the advantage they have in the turnover department. I mean, that's a huge advantage for them in this game. Yeah, hopefully the opposition can recover because that first quarter defensively was unbelievable, just crippling defense. On the court for Dallas here in the second. Dwight Powell out there with Marquise Chris. Then it's Luka Doncic. Then it's Trey Burke. And it's Finney Smith in at the three. Anadokounmpo. The pass to Anadokounmpo. And Antetokounmpo with the stuff. You know how you want to tell people don't let Giannis get too close? Well, one step past half court, he's too close. Here's Burke. No good there. Milwaukee goes the other way with it. Up ahead, DiVincenzo. Pass to Anadokounmpo. He's now one for two with that bucket. Good passing to set that up. Teamwork on display. Pass to Chris. Here's Powell. Now Doncic. Last game, an incredible scoring display for him. Six on the shot clock. Here's Burke. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. Anadokupo finds DiVincenzo. Two minutes now played in the second quarter. Back to Anadokupo. And they double up Anadokupo. Here's DiVincenzo. Good. And Anadokupo gets the assist. DiVincenzo's got five points. A great floor when it says that Anadokupo has a sense for when the D has overcommitted or shifted his way and then he finds where his teammate is open on the floor. Here's Milwaukee. Right now on a 9-0 run. Knocked loose. That's a tough rebound if you don't have the length that he does, so the size paying off. DiVincenzo with it. Guarded now by Finney Smith. DiVincenzo can't hit. And they just continue to dominate the boards. Powell, it's good. And the Mavericks lead by nine. Well, Chris is such a versatile big man. I like to see him whip the ball over and get it to an open teammate. Takes a three. Kept alive. Anadokounmpo. DiVincenzo. Pass to Anadokounmpo. There's the block. Pass to Finney Smith. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Thanks, B.A. Chris Middleton, a multiple all-star, yet always seems like he flies under the radar. Coach Bud said with how steady and subtle his game is, both defensively and offensively, he's a heck of a player that sometimes I think is underappreciated. But guys, I'd offer, not by his teammates. No question, Allie. Good stuff there. Thank you. The Mavericks have gone one for six in the second quarter. Not great. Doncic against Middleton. And here they come. Here's Anadokounmpo. And Anadokounmpo with the jam. Oh, I would love to see Giannis in the dunk contest. Wouldn't that be sweet? The Mavericks leading. And Dallas calls time here. Think about Middleton's improvement in this league. A lot of people not knowing where he came from or how his game has evolved. And they've seen it over the past couple seasons. Lopez, he's checked in for the Bucks. Portis comes in for Anadokounmpo. Porzingis has checked in for the Mavericks. Kleba comes in for Chris. Porzingis passes to Doncic. Puts up a three. Dallas, no good that time either. You know, with Middleton, he's always adding a wrinkle to his game, it seems, Brent. I feel like B.A., he's understood the physicality of the game a little better in the past couple years and now has extreme confidence in where it is he can get his offense going. Here's Doncic. Rebounded by the Bucks. Their last game, a win against the Clippers. Looking to carry it into this one. And in that one, the bench came to play. Gave 
the team a bunch of points and energy to put them over the top. Well, I talked to the assistant coaching staff. What they were stoked about is that the bench guys came in and played well. So punch off the bench, a big factor in that one. Oh, incredible! Save that one. I want to watch it again. Awesome! Middleton outside. Over Finney Smith. Finney Smith pulls it in. This has been a close game in a lot of ways, but they do have an edge on the boards. Here's Doncic. No good that time. Oh, great D that time from Portis. This is a rough stretch right here for him offensively. Seems to be rushing shots. Here's Connaughton, guarded by Doncic. Back to DiVincenzo. Six to shoot. That one drops. Three for six now. That's how you draw it up right there. A screen to shed the defense. A quick move to the bucket. And you get the lay-in. Outside Porzingis. And the three off target. Well, that's not a shot he's ever going to pass up, and he shouldn't. Despite the miss, no defender anywhere near him. He's got to shoot that one. Outside, DiVincenzo. Driving inside. Can't get it to drop. Dallas has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Here's Doncic. Drains it from 9 feet away. Doncic has got 15. We've seen why Doncic is a perennial MVP candidate. He's taken over completely at the offensive end. And he lobs it up. And it's Lopez with the jam. A beautiful setup on the alley-oop. Great catch, great flush. The Mavericks shooting at a respectable 49%. Lopez against Doncic. Middleton outside. Puts it up. Doncic pulls down the board. Doncic has got rebound number seven tonight. There's the triple. He can't get it to go. And Milwaukee will come the other way. Time for some consideration in the passing category, maybe, Kevin. The shot is just not on. Get somebody else going. Out of talk on defense. That left him all alone. DiVincenzo's gone four of eight from the field. And the Mavericks call time here. The emphasis placed on athleticism is bigger than it's ever been. And that goes for all positions. Yeah, you're going to need athletes all over the floor, B.A., and I think there's this trend to finding wing players or taller players who have the capability of being very good at a lot of things and not just specialists anymore. That's the way modern-day rosters seem to be being built. Marjanovic checked in for the Mavericks. Hardaway comes in for Luka Doncic. Pass to Kleba. Here's Burke. Let's the three fly. Knocks down the long J. Nine points in the game. That's just a lapse right there. No matter what, somebody has to be there and get a hand up in the shooter's face. Goes to the reverse layup and drops it in. That's ten straight points they've given up in the painted area. Huh. Pass to Porzingis. Here's Marjanovic. In his last outing with 12 points. Here's Burke. Another three for Dallas. Great well, the performance on the offensive end. He's making the defenders pay right now for all of the mistakes they're making. Outside Holiday. Over Kleba. Mavericks with a rebound. At one point, they led by 16. Here's Burke. Allen defending. Throws it up high. And finished off by Kleba. Woo! I just love that alley-oop slam, PA. Defense disorganized. Defense pays. To the inside. Here's Cousins. Oh, rejected by Marjanovic. Pass to Burke. Rebound by Middleton. 
and we haven't seen them pound the ball inside and draw as much contact this quarter. Portis, the pass to Holiday. Oh, great D that time from Kleba. Well, the D's so tight on him, it makes him alter his shot. And an easy chance turns into a tough one because the defense is swarming. I just love how he runs the floor with energy and intensity, but still stays under control. Yeah, you think he's comfortable at that speed? He's done it so many times before. Just an absolute blur in transition, and that helps get the rhythm going. And a fast break now. The Mavericks on the run. Here's Burke. Allen defending. Here's Porzingis. Oh, great D that time from Portis. And they've been able to maintain this lead despite his inconsistency from the field. Giannis Antetokounmpo is checked in for Portis. And Dallas with a change here too. Chris, he's checked in for Chris Stops Porzingis. Milwaukee has gone one of three from three-point land here in the second quarter. Now here's Cousins. He's closely guarded. Pass to Allen. Outside Holiday. Cousins with it. Anadokounmpo inside. He's against Chris. And the basket by Holiday. Well, a, a longer point guard out there, Drew Holiday, can score close into the rim with that kind of size. Pass to Chris. 44 seconds left in the first half of this one. Allen against Hardaway. No luck on that one. And Milwaukee will come the other way. Middleton outside. And the shot is good on the assist by Holiday. Now just a four-point Dallas lead. See how skilled Middleton is. Ready to pull the trigger. And the defense is going to have to do better. Pass to Burke. Hardaway with it. 17 points for him. Last game against Washington. Shot clock at three. Over Middleton. Dallas again missing. He got it up. The shot won't fall. And we're through the first half of play here in what's been a good one. The Mavericks on top. Up four. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Thanks. I'm here with head coach Mike Budenholzer. Coach, how would you characterize the intensity level in that first half? Yeah, no, it's pretty intense. You know, both teams are getting after it defensively. Nothing's going to be easy, so it's the way it's supposed to be. Hopefully it continues in the second half. Thanks. Okay, Ali, appreciate it. And, folks, we'll be back after halftime to begin the third quarter. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Luka Doncic had a huge first quarter. He ended up with 15 points, seven rebounds, and one steal. And from what we saw so far from the Mavericks, Kenny, what's your takeaway? We have to love the second unit. I mean, the effort they display, they're doing much more than giving the starters a break. We're seeing real intensity from them, particularly on the offensive end. And you, big fella, let's get your thoughts on the Bucks. I think they let the game come to them. But they haven't got to the foul line enough. Right? That's an area where they're getting beat. I like to see them press to action a little bit more. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard. And the Bucks with the possession here. Four-point game. Holiday and DiVincenzo man the backcourt. Middleton is the three with Giannis in at four. And it's Lopez in at the five, roaming the paint. And that's the group for Mike Budenholzer as we begin the second half. Mavericks shooting 47% in this one, looking efficient. 
and Dante DiVincenzo is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul of the game. And we've got to see that sensational mobile one block again. Oh, my, oh, my. And that was textbook defense positioning himself well to send it back. Doncic outside. Back to Finney Smith. Shot clock at five. Pass to Doncic. The three. Rebound by Middleton. Middleton's got four rebounds now. And here's Lopez. And he's going for the lob. And the jam by Arda Kumpo. Yeah, you could throw that pass just about anywhere, even the top of the square for Giannis to go and get. Pass to Marjanovic. Doncic outside. Offline with a three. Milwaukee's gotten three of their seven threes to find the net in this matchup. Middleton passes to Anadokounmpo. And that comes off the assist by Middleton. Anadokounmpo's gotten four this quarter. Dallas has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. From deep, here's Doncic. The long distance three is Perry. And the Mavericks lead by three. I love it. His love for the game couldn't be more obvious. It helps him make a positive impact out on the court. And it also that keeps the ball. bench fired up. Luka Such a terrific two-way guy. That's Drew Holiday isn't ball. just an offensive first powerhouse. He loves to play defense. I mean, loves it. At the line for Milwaukee, Drew Holiday. Taking two shots. That's good from Holiday. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Two minutes gone in this third quarter now. Doncic against Holiday. The three is up. Rebounded by the Bucks. DiVincenzo's got four rebounds now. And there's the foul. It'll go on Tim Hardaway. That's his first foul of the game. Tough break for the defense. I mean, he took the hit, but he didn't get the call. The Mavericks making a switch here. Powell's checked in. Here's Middleton. Ten points for him. Pass to Lopez. Now here's Middleton. For the lead. Porzingis grabs the board. Porzingis has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Now Doncic. Let's it go from deep. Knocks down the triple. Doncic has got 21 points in the game. Off the catch and shoot, Luka is just about automatic. Doesn't waste any time getting to his shot. Timeout called. Milwaukee. You know, one guy who's been getting it done is Luka Doncic. They know they need to change things up and do it quickly. They cannot allow him to keep running wild. And the Bucks making a change here. Connaughton's checked in. And Connaughton. Well, we're into the third quarter. Just over two and a half minutes played. Pass to DiVincenzo. Off the mark there with a three. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. The Bucks have gone 2 of 5 in this third quarter. You go through the career statistics of Brook Lopez and the fact that he's been able to get to this three-point volume. It's just astounding. Now here's Finney Smith. The D's right on him. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Brent with Lopez in his three. He was one of many centers to add that. Well, he knew that if he was going to stay in the league, B.A., he had to be a, a weapon out there. And it's not just the makes. It's just the fact that he'll take as many as he does. And, man, has he proven that he can make the big ones. Now 
That one misses. Anadokounmpo is checked in for the Bucks. Second free throw, no good. The Bucks trail. Outside Holiday. Back to Lopez. Porzingis grabs the board. Dallas has gone two of six from downtown here in the second half. Here's Powell. The rebound by the Bucks. Anadokupo finds DiVincenzo to the middle. And stolen by Porzingis. Doncic on the wing. Back to Porzingis. For three, Hardaway. Offensive rebound, Mavericks. And a slam dunk by Porzingis. Uh, tough to match up with the length of Porzingis, and when he's floating around there, sometimes those rebounds are going to come up, and he's just too big to not get some. Pass to Connaughton. Now Holiday. to see moments where Drew Holiday can show how explosive he is right now in a groove. Hardaway on the wing. Doncic on the wing. He's covered by Holiday. Doncic against Holiday. Clock at six. Here's Hardaway. The shot is good. Doncic making the play. Doncic has got three assists in the game. The Bucs have gotten just three of eight shots to go in the third quarter. Anadokounmpo outside. Here's DiVincenzo. Ooh, give him his fifth make of the game in ten attempts. In a tight game, they wanted to make sure of that possession. Dallas calls timeout. Good idea to call timeout. It looked like the guys were getting some heavy legs out there. And some changes here for the Bucs. Portis, he's checked in for Lopez, and it's Allen in for Holiday. The Mavericks have gotten only four of ten shots to fall so far in the third. Doncic outside, inside. Oh, a great one-two punch. Beautiful pass and a nasty jam. With elite passing skills and court vision, Doncic is an advanced distributor for his age. Here is DiVincenzo. He's got 11. Shots good by Connaughton. That's the kind of passing you want there. Work the ball around, keep it moving, try to get an assist on every bucket. Doncic with it. Guarded by Anadokounmpo. Doncic with the bucket. Doncic has got 23. At about 230 pounds, Doncic is a low down low. Here's Allen. The Mavericks pull it in. At one point, they led by 16. Here's Finney Smith. And that's out of bounds. Dallas will keep it. Cousins, he's checked in for Anadokounmpo. Here's Burke. Allen defending. Doncic outside. Pass to Finney Smith. Doncic outside. Just four to shoot. And Dante DiVincenzo is going to pick up the foul. That's foul number two for him. I have to admit, I mean, it's always a tough decision for the ref on the block charge call. Here's Chris. Looking at his numbers. Currently, he's averaging around nine points a game. Good work there as it goes. Chris has got six. They have no answer defensively inside. Milwaukee has gone just one of three from deep since the break. Allen again. 
against Kleba. From 11 feet away, it's deflected. To the inside, kicks it to Doncic. Back to Chris. Shoots over Allen. Pass to Burke. Just five on the clock. Doncic rebounded by the Bucks. Now DiVincenzo. Allen on the wing. Jacks up a three. It's rebounded by Dallas. Kleba's got a rebound number five here tonight. It's just so hard to score in this league, especially when you're out of rhythm. you got to feel for him tonight. The shot no good. Oh, great D that time from Portis. Pass to Allen. Here's Connaughton. Over Chris. And again, it's the Bucks missing. The Mavericks have gotten 7 of 16 shots to go so far in the third quarter. Back to Kleba. Here's Burke. He's got 12. He takes it in. It's blocked! I like it. Cousins making impact on the defensive end. Nice to have a rim presence and blocks that shot away. And the Bucks making a change here. Middleton's checked in. Three on the clock. Here's Burke. And misses it off the right side of the rim. The Bucks trail. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Kleba with a steal. To the middle. Here's Chris. Marquis Chris getting more and more used to using his body on the inside. That's his first dealing with the contact. 14 pop. All right, guys, what do you think about the hustle stats for the Mavericks? Defensively, they've played with a high energy level tonight. And all the steals we've seen, a result of that aggressiveness. And protecting the rim has been another huge calling card in this game. Their block shots have had a big impact in this one. The first free throw is good. Marquise Chris has potential oozing from his fingertips. So exciting and so athletic at that four spot. Gets them both. Now here's DiVincenzo. He's got 11. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Ali LaForce. In 2016, the NBA Players Association made history, voting to extend health insurance to retired players with at least three years of service. Chris Paul said, quote, they paved the way for our game. This is just the little that we could do. Whenever my tenure is up as president of the fall. union, that will be See, easily football. the greatest That's achievement. Brian. Boy, that is big time, Alan. Ball. Good stuff there. Thank you for that. At the line for the box. Two shots. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes a first. Giannis Antetokounmpo is checked in for the Bucks, And Dallas with a change here, too. Marjanovic is checked in. Both free throws good from Portis. The Mavericks leading. Now Doncic, 23 points in the game. Burke on the wing. On the take. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Burke's got 14 points for the game. Well, the defense allowed that one. He had a clear path to the cup. Allen, pass to Middleton. That one doesn't drop. Now the Mavericks take it the other way. And they've just built this lead by attacking the boards. Here's Burke. Allen defending. 
Outside, Finney Smith. And here's Doncic outside. And they'll get another chance. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And now an 11-point Maverick lead. And he's carried them this quarter. A dominant offensive stretch. Doncic against DiVincenzo. A minute 42 left to play in the third quarter of basketball. Down to five on the shot clock. For three, Allen. Good. And Adetokounmpo gets the assist. Adetokounmpo has got three assists now in this one. The Mavericks shooting the rock around 43% since the third quarter began. Adetokounmpo against Kleba. Pass to Burke. Doncic with it. He's got 25. A step back shot. Another one falls for Dallas. Well, he doesn't look satisfied with the lead right now. He wants more, and he looks like he's going to get it. Doncic against Steven Chenzo. Honor Kumpo with it. Shoots over Kleba. No good. A bit long that time. 46 seconds left to play in the third quarter here. And it's Burke missing. Yeah, the defense there in chill mode. We all know he can burn them from three-point range. Oh, rejected by Marjanovic. Outside, Finney Smith. Pass to Marjanovic. Here's Burke. Giannis with the rebound. Portis outside. Now on to Kumpo. And it's in! Oh! Nails the buzzer beater! Are you kidding? Makes his selection just in time. Well done. Yeah, it's almost like he's playing with a wristwatch there. He knew the time. He executed. And so it's Dallas up by a healthy eight points at the end of the period. Their key to consistency has been their dominance in the paint. They've been the more physical team. And more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way right after this. And let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm assist to the game. You know, I'm kind of stoked that this was a choice because I love this pass. A remarkable find. He put his court vision on full display. Well, a great job with the eyes. And what separates great playmakers, as we know, is peripheral vision. With three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store. So the Mavericks five right now. Hardaway Jr. and Finney Smith, they're out there on the perimeter. Dwight Powell out there with Boban Marjanovic. And it's Doncic in at the point. Outside Hardaway. Pulls up on the wing. Rebounded by Lopez. Lopez has got five rebounds tonight. For three, Allen. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Holiday. And defensively, how do you leave him that open in crunch time? And here's Hardaway. Doncic outside. Shoots over Lopez. Doncic, no good. Milwaukee has gone 6 of 14 from the perimeter tonight. And it's Lopez with the jam. The great read between those two guys. The defense didn't stand a chance, B.A. These two teammates right here, Grant, they are connected. Dallas, no good that time either. The Bucks trail. Honor to Kumpo, outside. And Giannis with the dunk. It just keeps coming at you. Giannis has so much energy, and when he's this aggressive, he is just a dynamite offensive player. Powell passes to Doncic. The ball's knocked loose. It's stolen by Holiday. Pass to Middleton to take the lead. And another three for Milwaukee. He drops yet another dive. Just facilitating this offense like a maestro. 
The Mavericks have gone 0 for 3 in this fourth. Not good. And we're about two minutes into the fourth here. Here's Marjanovic. Covered by Lopez. Six on the shot clock. Here's Doncic. No good. Off the front rim. Now the Bucks with it. It's been 10 straight unanswered. Allen against Hardaway. That's tipped. Powell with a steal. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Lopez. Porzingis has checked in for the Mavericks. Porzingis. We're in the fourth quarter here. Just under two and a half minutes gone by. From deep, here's Doncic. Milwaukee with the rebound. Lopez has got six rebounds in the game. They've been taking care of business. Especially at the offensive end, where they've been totally in sync. Middleton outside. Shot clock at six. And there's the drive. And he's now 6 for 11 after that one. They fought so hard to get themselves in a position to win this game. Well, there's an ebb and a flow. They had a hard time earlier, but now, flow. Here's Kumpo. Good. He's been great in this one. 9 for 15 after that shot. And a closer look here at the hustle stats for the Bucks. Defensively, they've played with a high energy level tonight. And all the steals we've seen, a result of that aggressiveness. I also love the fact that they've played with speed tonight. They haven't sputtered one bit, constantly getting out on the break and creating opportunities in transition. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've played about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter here. Powell finds Porzingis. And Luka Doncic is going to pick up the foul. That's foul number two for him. And they just keep making mistakes. I mean, that's back-to-back -back turnovers, which easily could have been prevented. DiVincenzo, he's checked in for Allen. Milwaukee in the lead. Outside, DiVincenzo. Powell with a steal. Hardaway with it. DiVincenzo picks him up. Doncic against Holiday. Here's Hardaway. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. It's on Dante DiVincenzo. He's a decent scorer and Hardaway can get it going. So he draws defenders' attention and gets the call that time. At the line for two. First one at the line is good. Growing up in the Bay Area, I worked out a lot and spent a lot of time with Tim Hardaway Sr. Remember the killer crossover. And Tim Hardaway Jr. continues to show why he belongs in the league after a lot of hard work on his own. Hardaway hits them both. Here's Milwaukee. They're on a 14-2 run here. Outside Holiday. And he lobs it up top. And the jam by Arden and Kumpo. Woo. I just love that alley oop slam. Defense disorganized. Defense pays. Outside Hardaway. To the paint. Here's Fenny Smith. Off the left rim and out. The Bucks have gotten all seven of their shots to go. Impressive here in the fourth. Middleton outside. 4-3. And the box hit again from deep. Looks like they're gaining some confidence here in crunch time. And right now is when you have to lay it on the line. Between the two teams, they've clearly been the aggressor. Pass to Powell. Good work defensively by Lopez. Milwaukee has gone three for three from downtown in this fourth quarter. Outside, DiVincenzo, and stolen by Porzingis. Doncic outside. 
Beyond the arc. They get it back. And the basket is good. He got it to go and he took the bump. So a free throw coming up. An opportunity at a three-point play. Shooting for Dallas. Kristaps Porzingis. Shooting one. Porzingis in the early part of his career has had some phenomenal first halves of seasons and the second half has faded. You really just want to see a complete year from Kristaps Porzingis where he can dominate. I, I really don't think there's any way to slow them down. They have the defense scrambling out there. Well nothing that they're doing seems to be making an impact and there are some nights where you just run out of options whether it's by personnel or by tactics. Benny Smith up top. Five to shoot. Pass to Doncic. Nails it from beyond the arc. Doncic has got 15 points here in the second half. Because opponents have to respect his passing so much, a lot of times the three-pointer is there for Doncic if he wants it. And the Bucks call time here. You could really see his squad was losing steam. Smart timeout to give them a breather. And now let's take a look at the New Balance player of the game, Luka Doncic. He really kind of drove him tonight on the offensive end. Really just stepping up when his team needed him. And of course, anytime you score over 30 points, hey, you're putting in work. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. I was able to listen in on what Mike Budenholzer was going over with his team. He loves the pressure deep. He told his guys, quote, we've got them on their heels. They're making mistakes. Do not let them get comfortable. We'll see if they can maintain their disruptive ways down the stretch. Back to you. And Allie, thanks. Outside, DiVincenzo. Lopez against Powell. Holiday from long range. An absolute bomb from three-point range. And the Bucks lead by eight. They keep attacking from the three-point range here in the second half. Down low. And out of bounds. The Bucks will take it. Well, that's two teammates who need to reintroduce themselves to one another, not on the same page. Milwaukee has gone 4-4 four four from outside during the fourth. Pass to Middleton from the arc. And a great assist by Anadokounmpo. And that one goes in. Anadokounmpo's got his fifth assist in this one. Dallas has gotten just one of their four threes to go here in the fourth quarter. Doncic against Anadokounmpo. And here's Porzingis. Over Holiday. And he sinks that one. Hitting the Porzingis. back of the rim on the way in. Porzingis has got five points now in the quarter. Porzingis against Anadokounmpo. And Giannis with the jam. He is torching a defense that simply has no answers for him. Doncic against Lopez. Oh, it's blocked by Lopez. Excellent off-ball awareness as Brooke was able to get over there and swat it away. Finney Smith with it. Guarded now by Holiday. Outside Finney Smith. Six to shoot. Pass to Doncic. Off target with the three. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Here's Holiday. And a nice finish on the layup. Holiday's got 19 points. Drew's got such a great build. 205, 210 pounds, a bigger guard. Hard to knock him off of his shot. Knocks it loose. DiVincenzo with the steal. Here's Ana de Kumpo. Finished off the break. He's got 26. Well, he hasn't missed yet, guys, and the defense is scrambling for answers to stop this hot start. Porzingis passes to Powell. Doncic outside. Pass to Hardaway. Just five to shoot. Back to Doncic. No good on the three. 
I think if I was coaching these guys right now, especially him, I'd tell him, you take one more three-point shot, and we're going to have some, some conversations here side by side. They are shooting the lights out and doing a good job of maintaining this lead. Dallas has got just one of six threes to go in the fourth. And Dallas calls time here. You look at Giannis Antetokounmpo. What a contribution. And the defense has not provided any threat to stop him out there. So it should come to no surprise that he continues to attack the basket. And the Bucks making a change here. Portis has checked in. Marjanovic checked in for the Mavericks. Nilakina comes in for Luka Doncic. Here's Nilakina. He's covered by Holiday. Porzingis for three. Hauled in by DiVincenzo. DiVincenzo's got eight rebounds in the game. Outside Holiday. Over to the left wing. Anadokupo finds Portis. Six on the shot clock. And Giannis with the dunk. They've been very well-rounded and extremely focused. Coaching staff probably most proud of the effort of this team on both ends of the floor here tonight. Pass to Marjanovic. Hardaway with it. Now here's Finney Smith. Dallas no good that time either. The other team just looks more in sync and is riding the momentum. Well, the other team is scorching hot and they come down on this end and can't find a way to get the embers going. Here's DiVincenzo. Pass to Portis. Outside Holiday. Fires the three. Oh, it's blocked by Porzingis. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. And a new group getting ready for the Bucks. Cousins, he's checked in for Portis. Nora comes in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Matthews, he's checked in for DiVincenzo. And it's Hill in for Drew Holiday. And a new group getting ready for the Mavericks. Cauley Stein, he's checked in for Marjanovic. Chris comes in for Kristaps Porzingis. Bullock, he's checked in for Finney Smith. And it's Brown in for Hardaway. They get it again. A oh, nice shot by Brown. And this one hasn't been in doubt for a bit now. They came out on a mission, and you can bag up this win for the Bucks. They had more assist and shot the ball more efficiently. Those things tend to go hand in hand. And that's so true. Without a doubt, their ball movement was essential to winning this game. And so they powered through to their 51st win of the year. Only a two-game series, and they win both. They have to be satisfied with this. And when you look at the game, the one thing that helped fuel this team to victory was the efficiency for Giannis Antetokounmpo. He was just everywhere for them on both ends, really. Just showing a lot of aggressiveness and intensity. Here's Cauley Stein. Rebound, Milwaukee. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock and the game clock. Pass to Nora. Middleton from the outside. It's rebounded by Neil Aquina. Here's Chris. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Personal foul. Man, he made sure to get his money's worth on that foul. Shooting for Dallas. Marquise Chris taking two shots. First free throw is good. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Eight seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. Outside, Hill. And so it's Milwaukee easily grabbing this one. They didn't have too many problems tonight. They didn't. Just a tremendous team effort. Once they had that big lead, they were not going to let the visitors back into the game. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. All right, thanks. Brooke, the offense came in waves tonight. How'd you guys manage to win this one? 
it was a complete team effort, you know? We've been playing with pretty good energy, pretty good defense the whole game. Shots just weren't going down for us, and we knew that. So we just we had to keep grinding, keep grinding. The key was you stayed persistent. Thanks, Brooke. Thanks, Allie. Great interview once again. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Ali LaForce, Brent Berry, Grant Hill, and our entire 2K Sports crew, this is Brian Anderson signing off. So long, everybody.